Mm. So we know that organism B is catalase negative, it's gram positive, it's therefore allowed to be a streptococcus. Now we need to identify what Lancefield grouping the streptococcus is. And basically Lancefield grouping is in many ways the principle is similar to your latex agglutination for your cargolase, um, uh, protein A test where you're looking for specific antigen-antigen reactions within uh, suspended particles. And several decades ago a lady called Lancefield managed to identify that on different strains of um, beta hemolytic streptococci uh, there are soluble antigens that when extracted you can react with um, antigen to be able to get a latex reaction in a similar way you do with protein A. So, first things first with this method, into a test tube we add one drop of extraction reagent number one. We then take a colony of our chosen streptococcus, if it will come off the plate, like so, and homogenise it into extraction reagent number one. Then to this, we add one drop of extraction reagent two. Now this is, in principle, this is an acid extraction which is removing the carbohydrates from the cell walls of the organisms and putting them into solution. Mix the two together for a few moments. Make sure they're well mixed. And then we add five drops of reagent three. And reagent three itself is basically a stop solution to stop any further reaction occurring within the acid extraction itself. Four, five. Give that a mix. You'll know that the reaction has stopped because the solution has gone from a yellow colour to off pink. We'll put that to the side for one moment. Now the Lancefield grouping kit, in this respect, ICE allows us to identify six different types of beta hemolytic streptococcus. There are hundreds of different types, but there are six that we are primarily interested in. And these are A, B, C, D, F and G. These are primarily the strains that you are most liable to see infecting a human if we have them. And all we have to do, ensuring that they are well mixed. We put one drop of the white card. Some of you amongst you will say there's no E. There's no E because most group um, beta hemolytic streptococci actually have E antigen on their surface. So it's not actually going to be any beneficial isolating or detecting that antigen. So once we have one drop of each latex suspension on the cards, we need. Oh, sorry, we've got a pastet. Hmm? Pastet. Got the pastet. Yeah, please. Sorry. Thank you. So all we need to do now is one final mix to make sure that everything is homogenised within our extracted solution. Then take the solution, <coughs> one drop 